Item number SCP-ES-054 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-ES-054 shall be kept on a landscape surface. These are currently in the garden surrounding the beep laboratory at Site-34. Since they do not exhibit any intention to escape or use violence, no surveillance is required. During recess, staff is allowed to observe the behavior of SCP-ES-054. If an instance of SCP-ES-054 shadows, the fragments must be assembled to be heard with the help of glue. Update. The pieces must be left in sight next to a can of glue. Other instances of SCP-ES-054 will fix it. See Experiment-054-8. Description. SCP-ES-054 is a group of decorative garden dwarf figures made of ceramics. They lack a base and do not have any identification or mark determined by the manufacturer. The interior of SCP-ES-054 instances is hollow and no anomalous substance has been found inside. The anomalous property of SCP-ES-054 is its autonomous ability to move. Despite the rigid material, the limbs of the figures are able to articulate similarly to a living human body. The elbows and knees can be bent, and the necks allow a 180-degree head turn from side to side. Instances of SCP-ES-054 have various objects proportional to their sizes, most of them being tools for garden maintenance. Although they are also made of ceramics, they are completely functional when it comes to carrying out their purpose. SCP-ES-054 is only activated if it is in an outdoor garden. In any other environment, the figure will become idle and motionless, like a conventional ornament. In its active state, SCP-ES-054 will spend all its time and effort in the maintenance and care of the garden. Each instance will perform a specific task, including lawn mowing, watering flowers, pruning trees, and limiting plagues. When a task is not needed at some point, for example, flowers have already been watered, the instance responsible for that task will become idle. Addendum List of Instances of SCP-ES-054 1. Equipped with pruning shears and an axe. Pruning shears are used to remove superfluous leaves from flowers and shrubs. One manages to climb trees to a branch that needs to be pruned, which he does with his axe. He is also able to cut a dry tree from the base of the trunk, but due to its size, this task takes a lot of time. 2. Equipped with a hoe and a watering can. If at least one seed is detected in the garden, two will Dig a ditch in which to bury the seed, and then water it. The watering can of two generates water inside by unknown means. Several samples of water have been taken from the watering can, and the analysis determines that the composition is similar to the rainwater of the zone. Although with a pH each time different, considered the necessary one for the plant is going to water. 3 and 4 Equipped with a pick and shovel, they will perform tasks that require digging larger or deeper holes. It will also take care of removing weeds from the root. 5. Equipped with an insecticide sprayer. Like the two sprinkler, the sprinkler will generate small amounts of DDT inside the sprinkler that will spread to plants susceptible to damage by aphids and other organisms. 6 and 7. Equipped with an AK-74 and M-16 submachine guns, they will patrol the perimeter of the garden for moles, birds, rabbits, and other herbivorous animals. If any instance of SCP-ES-054 sights any, 6 and 7 will come and open fire on it, with the purpose of chasing it away, ruining it, or killing it, as appropriate. In the latter case, they will attempt to transport the animal outside the perimeter of the garden. Analysis have determined that the ammunition used by 6 and 7 is also made of ceramics. 8. 
equipped with a rake. It will pile up the dry leaves that fall on the ground in the corner, and sometimes it will pull up weed shoots. 9. Equipped with a sickle. Walk through the grass areas to cut it down and leave it at a low height. 10. Equipped with a handcart. Will assist with tasks requiring transportation. For example, we'll set aside soils that floor has been moved from a hole. If there is any kind of crop or plant life in the garden that produces fruits and vegetables, it will proceed to harvest them, always in due time, never picking them too green or too ripe. Using, if necessary, the help of other instances, one will climb fruit trees to drop the products. Four will dig up carrots and potatoes. Seven will shoot tomato branches to make the tomatoes fall. Ten will gather all the edible fruits in the corner of the garden where they will be ignored. Addendum. Test. Test one. Action. A closed packet of parsnip seeds is thrown into the middle of the lawn. Result. Two immediately starts digging a ditch. One uses his pruning shears to open the package. Four shovels the seeds into the ten cart, which transports them into the two trench. The seeds are buried with a separation of 30 centimeters between them and later watered. All the instances return to their tasks. Test 2. Action. All instances of SCP-ES-054 are placed in fertile soil, or soil and nothing planted. Result, none. Or the figures stay still, they are put back in the garden where they were. Test 3. Action. Dr. Peep takes gardening tools and performs some necessary tasks. Result. SCP-ES-054 instances ignore Dr. Peep, although they take his work into account. For example, the area watered by Dr. Peep is not watered again by, by 2 until it is needed again. Test 4. Action. Dr. Beep lies in the grass. Result. 8 and 9 try to push Dr. Beep out of the lawn. Not being successful, they proceed to kick him out. Dr. Beep decides not to retire to check their behavior. 6 and 7 approach and point their weapons at his head. Dr. Beep gets up and leaves. All instances return to their tasks. Test 6. Action. Agent Beep sets fire to a bush. Part of the grass also burns. Result. SCP-ES-054 instances are still working. Those that are close to the flames are moved away so as not to be damaged. The fire is extinguished with extinguishers. Test 7. Action. Agent B breaks 9 with a kick. Result. No one takes care of the task of mowing the lawn. Pieces of 9 do not show abnormal properties. But when they are glued back together, they regain their properties. The pit 9 returns to work. Test 8. Action. 1 was accidentally broken with a gust of wind causing it to fall from a tree. Instead of removing the fragments, a can of glue is placed next to them. Result. All other instances stop what they were doing and approach the pieces. With the help of glue, they fix one. All instances return to their tasks. Test 11. Action. A non-anonymous ceramic garden dwarf is placed within the perimeter. Result. The garden dwarf shows no change. Occasionally, it approaches to clean it up. I guess that's how a person who has a statue of someone important in their garden would react. Dr. Bright. Test 12. Action. The instances are located on a concrete surface. Subsequently, SCP-1054 is placed between them. Result. The instances of SCP-ES-054 do not move. An hour later, the effects of SCP-1054 begin to become noticeable. Deleted data. Bad idea. Dr. Bright. 